they get old enough to realize what money is, they do not get an allowance. Because an allowance, if you think about it, is really, well, mom and dad got paid on Friday, pay me. Mom and dad got paid on Friday again, pay me. Well, if, if that's gonna be what you're raising them to do, you're raising them to be an employee. So they get used to, well, it's Friday, and if we look at the generation that's now entering the marketplace and getting jobs, what are they expecting? What's the number one complaint from corporations? We hire these 35 and unders, and they're saying, well, um, I've been here for an hour, pay me. I've been here for a week, where's my promotion? Because we've taught them to do this. So instead, what we teach parents to do is we teach them, if, if your child's old enough to understand what money is, and they want to make money, they start a business. And they can only run that one business for six months. After six months, they have to come up with something else because you're not trying to make them the Donald Trump of lemonade. You're trying to get them to be entrepreneurs. But this means if, if I had a kid from six to 18 and he had or she had to start a, a new business every six months, that kid started 24 businesses by the time he gets out of high school. That kid is such an entrepreneur as opposed to an employee or a small business owner. He is such an entrepreneur, I could drop that kid off with $50 in Singapore, come back a year later, and he'll be middle class. So there are some definitely key things that we should be doing to raise entrepreneurs and not employees and small business owners.